Colorado Rapid hosts Dallas in an All-West Conference on Friday. This is Dallas's fifth on-the-road MLS match in a row, and after three losses and a draw, can they finally turn their luck around against a team who have only managed one win in five matches played? Joining us now to break down the game is sports writer Kevin Start. Now, Kevin, both teams are really on poor form right now, with just one win between the both of them over a combined 10 games played. Uh, I think just based on Dallas's poor on-the-road performance, I say we could either be looking at a home win or a draw. What are you thinking? I'm actually, I actually disagree with you on this, and I actually like the road team for some, not that for some strange reason, but I like Dallas in this game. They're just a better soccer team, and... The, the problem here, Natalie, with, uh, with, the, with the home team, Colorado, is they're, just, they're, they're horrible at scoring goals. At least Dallas knows, even though they've only scored one goal in five games, it's been against tougher competition, including Seattle, the best team in the league uh, last week. So I, I'm, they have better, a better attack force. They have better players. I say they, they, don't, they break out of it in the sense that maybe they win one nothing here. You know? they're not, this, is, this is a great under. I really like the under in this game. Mm -hmm. Well, Paul Dallas, they've been playing every road, every game on the road so far, four matches there. You know, do you think we're actually looking at a Dallas win? And are you brave enough to play the winner's market? Yeah, on this one, I actually would be because of the price. Be because of the price and the reality. I I'm looking at uh, plus 260 at Ladbrokes. Mm -hmm. That's just, that, that's, that's healthy for the, for the situation if you want. And, and there's a reason they call it gambling. Colorado is just, they, they, the, the thing, I wrote it in the story, Colorado has to play great defense. It's just like hockey or baseball. When you have no offense, your only redeeming quality is to play incredible defense, and that's all they have. So they're going to play great defense, which will kill old Dallas down, which isn't really saying much, seeing as how Dallas has scored one goal in five games. But Dallas does have the better attack force. They should find a way to win in Colorado, and uh, this will be boring as heck. But this is a good game to gamble on. Sometimes you, you can't confuse the entertainment value with the potential to win some money on something. All right. Well, you're a braver better than I am, Kevin. Let's take a look at those odds you're talking about. Colorado Rapids is plus 110, bet 365. The draw is plus 240, William Hill. And FC Dallas is plus 260, Labrox. So you're right. Very good odds there for the gamble to take Dallas. Uh, let's take a look at some other uh, markets now. Uh, looking at the last five matches played, Colorado have pocketed three goals, whilst Dallas have only found the back of the net once. This automatically says to me a low-scoring game, uh, maybe a one-goal decider. What do, you, what do you think? I'm totally with you on this. And anyone listening, this is a good one to write down. And this is what I always talk or write about. The difference between setting a total at two, which they never do in the MLS, and two and a half. It's that extra half in a game like this that's just like luxury. Dallas is, I mean, Colorado, the seven of the last eight games have gone under, and they've gone, like, way under. Uh, this is like a, a, a this could be a 0-0 type of game. This, this would not surprise me if it was a 0-0 game. I predicted Dallas to win one nothing, and uh, therefore I just think that the under is the stronger of the, of the, the plays in this particular game. Mm -hmm. Yep, the under is minus 129 there, 88 sport. Both teams just score no, uh, minus 100 bet, uh, bet Victor. Combine those, that gives you a total odds of plus 125 bet 365. So not a bad bet there, but what would you say is the best value bet for us? Uh, they, I, I like what you just said, but in terms of the best value bet, it would just be a straight bet on the under. I mean, you, that, that's taking away the perceived value in, in a Dallas win, in plus 260, of course. You know, if Dallas wins, you're gonna, everybody would say, oh, well, all the value is in Dallas, but that's a gamble. Mm -hmm. That's really why we talk this out and why we make these, uh, we do these interviews. The, the reality is, is that uh, Dallas will, should find a way to win this game, but... The under is, is where the, the, the value is. Just, just making them beat you by scoring three goals and putting a straight bet on it is, is where uh, I, I perceive the real value to be if, if you want to win in the end. And then like what you said, the combining with the both teams to score no is kind of interesting too because if you do think a game is going to be a 0-0 game, has that potential, why not use that in, in some kind of parlay like that? I mean, mm -hmm. that, that's just smart, smart uh, thinking in my book. Yep, and you could also go for that 1-0 as well there to get that combined bet. Uh, but the value bet here is the under two and a half goals. Uh, if you'd like more information about this match preview, do head on over to our website. Uh, the link to Kevin Stott's article is posted in the comment section below this video. Kevin, thank you for joining us. Beautiful. Thanks a lot, Natalie.